Yes. English, yes. okay. So, uh, you live in, in the U.S.? Yeah, I live in Staten Island. I'm, part, I'm half American. Okay. So, I get to live there. So, uh, how long you been here? Two and a half years. Okay, and, and uh, how long have you been here? Oh, here today? Uh, I've been on and off during the week, and then I stayed for the first time last night. Uh, weather's been pretty bad, so it's like, uh, it's got cold over the last few years yeah. as well. What, uh, what made you say I'm going to leave Staten Island and come here and sleep here? Well, I, like, people need to know, like, if no one comes, people will never know what's going on in the country. Like, people are sort of not really care about what's going on, and people being here might actually turn a few heads and then educate a few more people. Is it, do you think, is it different in England, or do you think... It's, it's, I think it's worse there, because the people there, there, there's, like, America has, like, a sense of, uh, like, patriotism. In England, it's, it's kind of, everyone's just really out for themselves there, because it's, it's tough. Like, I come from a town of 9,000 people, and there's no, there's, like, no opportunities. Like, none. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. So, I came here, it's great, I've got a great job, I work for a respectable company, like, work 9 to 5, make good money. But, uh, but still, I just people need to know about how the people that run this country are really, they're not in it for us anymore. It's not like it used to be. So that's why I came to America, for the, the free, the land of the free, it's, it's becoming more and more not that. It's, kind of, it's just really sad, you know. It's funny because so, now, and like back in the day, like, well, until up about 20 years ago, college education meant something. And now it's, uh, so that's a waste of time oh, now, I pretty much. I can't imagine being a kid yeah. graduating right now with fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I know. I know a ton of people: masters degrees, bachelor's degrees, nothing. They were there bartending, you know, and like dive bars. And even need you need an even ama- amazing resume for uh, to work in a bar now. You know, it's, uh, well, Amer- Amer- it's what made America great. They used to, you know, they used to make everything, uh-huh. and like the now, what do, what do we make? Uh, a Chrysler. Who the hell wants a Chrysler, really? You know, you can't you can't go to Europe and sell a Chrysler. Now you've only, but you've only been here for you said two and a half years. Yeah, but my family's from here. Okay, but what? But you were raised in England. Yeah. What town? Uh, Swanage. It's near Southwest England, okay. near Southampton. Okay. Okay. I mean, you seem to have a passion about this place yeah. now. Yeah. You enough to stay overnight? Why? How'd that happen? Well, like I figure, like if I. If, like I said, if you don't, if no one does anything, like I'm one of the people that I have the time to come and do this on the weekend. You know, I come during the week a little bit. And if I don't do it, people like me just don't like put a little. It's only a little bit of effort, you know. I had a sleeping bag. I was here with my friend, and uh, we were warm. It even rained on us. We're still warm. We're all good. Woke up in the morning. We were provided food, coffee. You know, mm-hmm. everyone's really nice around here, and. Uh, it's, it's a good place to be around. I mean, it's, you know, it's fun. And the, and the point you want to make to the rest of the country is again, just uh, kind of wake up, look, just, uh, uh, just, just take a second look about what's going on, and just try and, um, like, it's not, it's not black and white. You have to like really look deeper than what the news tells you these days, because. Uh, a long time ago, the stuff they used to say used to be true, but now it's not. So. Just don't believe everything you hear these days. Well, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully people start to, like you said, wake, wake up. Wake up, literally. Yeah. Well, literally. You know, like people, most people just walk by here and they don't even take a glance. It only takes one minute to find out what's going on, and then they're just and they're enlightened a little bit, you know? And the media's not doing the job? No, that's what I was saying, take a second look at things. Look, look who they're owned by, and look who, look who makes the decisions, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So, and I'm, and I'm sorry, did I get your name? I'm Jack Adamo. Jack, oh, yeah. nice to meet you, Jack. John. Pleasure. Yeah, glad to see you're here.